That's a great point. Um, I do see the whole mask mandate thing going on and them wanting to, you know, the vaccine isn't your choice. You have to do it. And then um, being very lenient on abortions and then vice versa, the conservatives. Um, that's more of a limit, like a libertarian ideology with um, being so forceful on one and then not that much on the other. Um, but there are double standards a lot of the time. True conservatives though are completely right wing and with conservatives and the government, like I know many conservatives who don't necessarily want less government. The libertarian view is the one that wants no government, wants no control over anything or anybody. Conservatives still want government control just from a right wing perspective based on morality. I'm going to turn what's it right. to Ellie as well for Ellie to answer that question. Yeah, I mean, I think that it is a lot of conservatives who tend to say the vaccine is my body, my choice. Um, sorry. Because we've taken y'all's term and used it against you because it's dumb. Okay. Anyway, um, so people have, you know, as she said, co-opted that term and it seems to apply only when you want it to apply. Um, you know, you don't have to get the vaccine, but then you can't go in certain public places. Or if you do, you need to wear a mask. So if that is your choice, yes, that's a double standard. I don't understand how that can be a choice, but we can't make a choice as women to carry a baby to term for whatever reason. Um, I do think that's completely a double standard. I know everyone thinks it's very like clever to have co-opted the term, but it's really a shot in the foot um, because like I said, it is a complete double standard in the fact that it's saying my body, my choice, only when the choice is the choice I agree with. Um, and I would take it one step further um, and just say, you know, controlling women is something that a lot of people in this country use as an excuse for, you know, xenophobia when it comes to looking at other countries and cultures that, you know, some people here may not agree with. Um, you know, a lot of people will look at countries in the Middle East and say, oh, they make a woman wear this. A woman's not allowed to do this. She has to marry this man. They're terrible people because of that. But then when it comes to our own country and we want to strip women of their rights, um, you know, that seems to just go out the window. So I think there's a lot of double standards in this in this situation. Um, I don't think that we will necessarily reconcile or come to an agreement over it. But I mean, if you want to talk about women in other countries, like who are actually more oppressed than women are here. Many, many women in America complain that they don't, they're getting their rights taken away and all of that. We can talk about women who actually don't have rights in the other countries, because that's something that I also stand behind. And I don't think like the women in um, Iraq and Afghanistan, and all of that, when we were worried about the Taliban coming and taking over, like there are women in other countries who are 10 times more oppressed than the women here. And I feel like it's just, it's not their right. So should we in turn just say, okay, we're all right with some oppression because other people have it worse? No, that's not what I'm implying at all. 